Good morning and welcome to Missoula Real Estate Today. This is Denny Bedard. Missoula Real Estate Today is presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate on News Talk KGVO. Welcome on in. We always appreciate you making Missoula Real Estate Today a part of your weekend. Uh, thanks to Diane Beck at Windermere Real Estate for sponsoring the program. Our guest this week, uh, we're going to touch on some DIY, among other things today. David Boyce. David is General Manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center, locally owned and family operated since 1937. How does um, how does that make you feel when you hear those words? I I gotta believe you take uh, tremendous pride in oh. that, especially when a radio guy says yeah. it. You know, <laughs> big professional. Oh, uh, how does that? But how does it sound when you hear that? Uh, yeah, it's an amazing accomplishment. Yes. Uh, you know, we turn eighty four years old this uh, this month, actually. So uh, I'm fourth generation. Uh, we had our fifth generation start. Oh, a year and a half ago, two oh years my ago. Gosh. So it's it's pretty wild. Um, it's hard to put into words. Hard to look uh, back. Kind of overwhelming when you start looking at the number of it years. Is, there's a lot of pressure, <laughs> <laughs> you know, to keep it rolling. But it's right. uh, you know, it's that business has its own great philosophy and uh, continues to just be a part of this community yes. as much as possible. Uh, you know, I I feel honored to to actually help. Uh, <laughs> move this business forward. So well, really well, fortunate. Let's, uh, let's continue with that. Get acquainted, uh, the history of boys, how it got started, you know, the when, where, why, et cetera, all, all of that. Some of the background. I know oh, there's a lot there since is. <laughs> it's uh, 84 years old now. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess my great grandfather used to, um, take lumber yards that were struggling, uh, during the great depression and would make them profitable. So, you know, he had started, I want to say, from Florida to Michigan, over to the Dakotas, uh, and then landed in Missoula. But um, I want to say Richardson, uh, North Dakota, I believe, was where the one that we were going to purchase uh, back in 1930, probably this was probably 1936, uh, hmm. was working at this business and decided he just wanted to move a little more west. So he landed in Missoula and, wow. well, as you know, once you see this valley, it's hmm. It's a special place. And, you know, bought a piece of dirt of same location we've always been in. Uh, started Boyce Lumber in a tent. Uh, had a small sawmill and some lumber and built it up from there. Um, yeah, like, basically, where we're at now was way out of town. Uh, right, sure. Back then. And, yeah. I mean, Missoula was tiny. And, yeah. you know, it's just, we've been a part of its growth for, you know, 84 years. So, it's it's... It's pretty neat. So you have never moved. No. that no. That's kind of a unique characteristic yeah. about businesses that have been in Missoula for long periods of time is that, you know, you, you would have, you'd figure, well, sooner or later, uh, they probably started here and ended up there, but you've never done that. No. At Boy Slumber. Uh, we've added uh, properties, like in that location. Right. Um, you know, I, I know on Marshall Street, we have, you know, half of the first block of Marshall Street is all... You know, like our dorm window building and EWP yard, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's <laughs> it's growing. I'm not sure uh, how much more we can grow in that area, uh, yeah. but I mean, there are plans to expand a little bit, uh, buildings and and different things. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's same location. I I had the the privilege of doing like our family history inside the store, so I took all these old photographs and. Yeah had them blown up and framed and, and put them on the wall just because there is such a neat history, uh, old photos of Knoll street that there's nothing there. Just, it's just field, uh, <laughs> across Russell street. There's no houses. It, I mean, it's right. You can see like blue mountain, like from where we're at, which is not possible today because of all the houses and everything. But you know, it was just kind of, kind of cool, uh, to be able to, to do that and honor my family, you know, Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate, and our guest, David Boyce, General Manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center. Now, which generation are you? How long have you been involved, and when did you start getting your feet wet? Oh, man. Uh, so, I've, I'm fourth generation. Okay. All right. Uh, my first day at Boyce uh, was when I was 12, 
<laughs> and uh, whether you wanted it to be or not, I think I, I feel like I kind of wanted it to be. Okay. And then, you know, uh, then I turned into a typical teenager. Sure. And didn't, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah. I know that I, I swept and cleaned the landscaping and, you know, uh, learned how to drive a forklift when I was probably 13. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In, in what are the what are the major ways, David, that you've uh, you've seen it evolve over the years? I, I mean, I'm going to guess that maybe in 1937 you weren't Boy Slumber and Design Center. Maybe you were, but uh, what what are some of the the, the big evolutions that uh, that your family has seen operating that business all these years? Oh wow, um, you know, product changes every year. Of course, uh, there's always something new coming out. Right. But like as far as operation wise. Um, when I started, everything was outside. Uh, we had a fenced yard that we'd always have to roll open the gates and let people in. And yeah. um, now, uh, you know, we started with the drive through and that was back in 2000 when the fires were really bad and the economy was struggling. Okay. Home Depot came in. So, I mean, there's a lot of un, um, uneasy feeling there. So we put up a drive through and it changed everything. Uh, you know, you can come in, get loaded up, you know, drive away and be in and out of that place in five minutes. Um, you know, uh, our staff is amazing. Uh, I think, you know, we really focused on that service aspect as well. Uh, you come in there, you know, you're going to get somebody that has knowledge. I mean, we're constantly doing product knowledge meetings during the winter. Um, the design center came a little bit later. I want to say that was 2008. Um, we had gone back east and looked at different lumber yards back in Maine and Boston and um, that area, trying to get an idea of our feel for how we wanted to do it and what we wanted to show. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, I always joke with the guys at the back counter, you know, back in my day, we, we priced things out of books and boards. We didn't have, you know, displays and everything in our computer system yeah. and our point of sale. But, um, you know, it, we've made it so we can service people better. And sure. that's what it's all about. I mean, you see a lot of brick and mortar stuff that is being, you know, um, challenged by online stuff. I feel like our industry, it's special, you know, not everybody knows what's available and, it changes so rapidly that we we try to stay up to date and give people the knowledge to make the choices for their home. I mean, I feel like that's an important thing. You know, their houses, their homes are their safe place. It's their, their house, you know. So uh, I think it's important to give them whatever knowledge I have uh, so they can make the decision on what they want. I wonder how that was received among the employees when the boss walks in one day and says, we're going to be Boy Slumber and Design Center, and we're going to have this uh, this showroom. And the staff is is thinking, where? I mean, you know, I, I imagine even by then you were sort of pressed for space because you had so much inventory. Yeah. But now you're going to show off, and, and you got to make it look good. You can't just, you know... You can't do it half, you know what, you got to make it look good. And, and people are probably thinking, okay, where, where, where do the voices think we're going to put all this stuff anyway? Oh man. Uh, houses inside buildings, you know, uh, it is a <laughs> uh, way to put it. It really is. Uh, we've, we've have two main displays, uh, and they're literally small houses right. inside right. our, yeah. our showroom. Yeah. And, I saw that on the website. Yeah. Actually. And then, you know, it shows everything from siding to decks to molding to railings, everything. Uh, yeah. it, it's a really good, useful sales tool to see practical application on a product and be able to talk to a person and explain or a client and explain like how things go together. Yes. Um, and, that's not something you can do off a, a siding board with some color or or chips. really online, you know. When yeah. You think about, you oh, know. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's terrific. Yeah. So, and it's constantly evolving. I mean, every winter, that's what I do. I <laughs> I update our showroom. We're yeah. constantly under construction uh, in the winter time. <laughs> I try to like wrap things up by April, but uh, yeah, it's there's just so much. 
uh, you know, staying up with trends and showing the new latest thing, you know, like uh, I'm working on a display right now uh, and it's thermally modified lumber. So it's been stabilized and uh, it's really fascinating. It's um, not really 100% on the process. Uh, That's kind of above me. But, uh, you know, it's stabilized wood, a wood siding, which has almost been a lost you know, uh, art, you know, most people are doing some sort of composite or, you know, a wafer siding or uh hardy or something like right. that. Fiber cement. Thermally modified lumber. That, yeah. that sounds very interesting. Really? Yeah. Uh, Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Our guest, David Boyce, general manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center here in Missoula. You've done a great job talking about some of them so far, but what other advantages, David, do you, do you feel local ownership gives you when you are uh, uh, serving your customers? Well, for me, it's about being part of the community. You know, uh, having an opportunity to give back has always been a big thing to myself and the philosophy of our business. Uh, you know, I, I do a lot of donations for the Boy Scouts. Um, when the floods happened, you know, we were there, uh, you know, helping out as much as possible. I, I just think that's every bit as important as selling things is giving back. Um, so I think that's special. And I love Missoula. Like this is my home, you know? Yeah. Uh, so being a part of something is, it, it means something, you know? Yeah. So. What are some, um, uh, common, oh, um, misconceptions about, about the store itself. Now, new customers come in, uh, when they come in things that, that might surprise them. We talked about the showroom, but, uh, other things that, that when customers come in, they, they might not have a, expected from, from boy slumber. Well, I think when you walk in, you're surprised. Uh, <laughs> like you, you pretty much walk in through the front doors and hit our showroom. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we're a small family owned business. Uh, I don't know. We do projects of all size and, um, I think people are surprised uh, wow, I didn't know you were here. We get that a lot, uh, sure. which I'm like, wow, uh, you know, and then some people treat us as a landmark, like, well, we're across the street from Boy Slumber. And, uh, you know, we'll do everything, you know, from, you know, small projects, you know, DIY and to, to large projects, you know. So I think um, Coming in, you're not sure exactly what you're going to get. You know, if it's more of a pro store or a uh, a small, you know, hardware store, it, yeah. it's pretty much everything. Yeah. Well, continue that radio tour. What what else will you see when you uh, when you come on in and visit uh, the showroom and you start looking down the aisles and, and things like that? What all will you see in there? Well, I've been um, working hard with uh, modernizing the store, uh, trying to make things, you know more merchandising, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, and cleaning things up and trying to get ahead of the times or, you know, um, things change so rapidly. Uh, there's so much to show. So our hardware store is getting a facelift. I'm putting information centers in every department, uh, that, you know, especially this year with being able to get online and, you know, uh, either have team meetings, uh, over the internet, you know, via Skype or whatever. Sure. Um, so that you'll see throughout. And I think it helps us, uh, especially with install, like being able to, I mean, everything's on YouTube. So you can jump on there yeah. with a customer. There's deck designers. We just did uh, the International Building Show. Uh, we did that virtually. Uh, so we had that playing behind our sales desk. And, okay. you know, so trying to... I don't know, modernize, I guess, is just the best way to, to put it and make it easier for people to yeah. buy things or get educated on products. Well, that goes, uh, that, that's in line with the next question I'd like to ask you. The, uh, an awful lot of um, do-it-yourself trends going on these days. What, what products have there been uh, a growing demand for? Not necessarily in just the past year. I referenced the past year because of mm-hmm. COVID-19, but... But uh, what products have there been a growing demand for that that you have been able to meet? I bet there's some that have probably surprised you and you've had to adapt. Yeah. I would say always the biggest one is decking. 
Um, that's kind of always a hot topic in the winter time, like figuring out what decking lines we're going to bring on for the season, color trends, you know, making sure that we have adamant supply for people. Um, that would be timber tech this year. We brought in new colors. Uh, one of their new lines that just came out last year, um, the PVC deckings, uh, we've, you know, Azac and Fibron, uh, are two of the company's decorators is another one that we use a lot of, uh, which is kind of starting to take off. Uh, it's a lot like a composite decking, but the PVCs, they perform a little differently. They install a little differently, but, um, expansion contractions different. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so it's kind of a new wave of synthetic decking. Um, and they're, the things they're able to do now, uh, and make these look like wood, uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, and then you can use it as cladding for siding and, oh, um, siding's always another one. Uh, those are like probably the two main ones. Uh, they're like the first thing you see when you come to the house yeah. is your siding. So there's hundreds of different <laughs> types of siding. So I try to show as much as we can, yeah. of, you know, rain screen and different things like that. Right. Are, are some of the ones you mentioned there just now, are those, um, are those uh, names and and products that customers are coming in for and and asking for by name, or are you you know you, you're you're obviously keeping your finger on the pulse of nationwide trends and and what what seems to be be selling a, a lot of, and so you just figure well that we're if we don't already we're going to have a demand for this we should probably get it in and be ready. Oh, definitely. Um, you know. I think we're known for timber tech. That has been our big product line okay. for uh, 15 years, uh, roughly. Um, you know, Trex is always a name that gets thrown out uh, as a generic term for composite. Uh, there's a lot of options out there. Uh, fiber cement, Hardy is always a big one. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's more product versus name brand sure okay. uh, you know yeah. it, which is you know and that's usually the case isn't yeah. It? yeah 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 missoula real estate today is presented by diane beck of windermere real estate and our guest is david boyce david's general manager of boyce lumber and design center here in missoula and i also want to say thanks to uh, some of diane's marketing partners that help bring you missoula real estate today every uh, saturday and sunday on news talk kgbo they are Rob Fleming with Man Mortgage, Miles Link from Opportunity Bank of Montana, and Carol Blodgett from Make It Mi- uh, Make It Missoula dot com. We'll give a uh, uh, David a, a, a little break here if he needs a sip of water or something, and tell you the spectacular listing of the week from Diane Beck. We are at seventeen six zero five Calamity Lane. That's in Houston. Unbelievable views, privacy, and seclusion. A Montana dream home. Owner builder built for the family. Lots of bells and whistles. Uh, everything on one level. Open concept with a split plan. You got the the master on one side with private access to a deck and the other three bedrooms on the other side. Things like vaulted ceilings throughout. Surround sound in the living area. Again, it's four bedrooms, three baths, 2,892 square feet on 20 acres, my friends. If you have any interest in 17605 Calamity Lane in Houston. Uh, well, get a hold of Diane Beck at the, the Windermere office on South Reserve or get more information at her website. That's move to Missoula.com. Move the number to Missoula.com. Back to David Boyce, general manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center here in Missoula. On your website, David, it says, um, we know lumber. Um, what is it you're looking for to make sure it measures up to, to you and your customer standards? Oh, well, I think the grade of lumber is... Very important. Uh, you know, we carry a select structural grade, which is a nice, clean board versus okay. uh, a lot of number two that's out in the market. And um, it makes a lot of difference. <laughs> like if you look at a grade number two and better versus a select struck, you know, two by six, it's night and day. Yeah. Um, so I think like carrying a nicer grade of lumber, having nicer lumber, um, is important. You, you know, waste less, you know, which is a big deal. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we know lumber, that's for sure. Uh, we sell a lot of it. Uh, yeah, for and, sure. And you see, I mean, you know, everything in our yard, That that's one of the benefits of having that drive through everything being undercover. Yeah. Um, you know, our lumber stays nicer, straighter, cleaner, yeah. you know. And you, you talked about that earlier in the show when you're kind of facing some uh, challenging uh, economic times, if you will, 20, 21 years ago. So you, it seems like you ended up being, um, you know, drive through before drive through was cool uh, <laughs> in the in the lumber department, right? Uh, how how was the your recollection? How that was received when you first started doing that? Oh wow! You know, I think that that drive through changed everything. Um, no kidding. And that's you know, my father had a vision and uh, did research. Um, you know, went back east again, uh, and kind of put this thing together. And I feel like it changed everything about Boyce and the perception of that lumber company. Uh, I'm I back then was probably sweeping a lot, uh, mm-hmm. stacking yeah. boards and loading up customers. Yeah. You know, I think when they put that up, I was still a teenager. But yeah, um, yeah, it 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 changed the dynamic of that business. Uh, you know. Instead of having, oh, we call them runners, but guys with radios standing behind the counter, running out and loading up customers and then sure. running back in, you know, uh, it's everybody's in one central location and cars can just pull through. You have guys that load up the lumber, you know, stock the lumber, uh, make cuts if you need cuts on our saw, uh, and then can write up an invoice and send them on their way. Uh, like, Five minutes, you know. Yeah. Visit Little Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck and Windermere Real Estate. Our guest, David Boyce, General Manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center. This is kind of your, uh, you know, free commercial and and promotion uh, time here, David, because you do have a, a design team. Let's talk oh, about yeah. that branch oh. of your, your company so you can brag on your staff there. Who are they and, and what uh, all do they help customers with? Oh, wow. Um, well, we're doing some neat things in cabinets. Uh, Logan Stark, she's my lead in cabinets and Kelly, uh, is another one of my designers. Uh, uh-huh. we just did a photo shoot of, uh, some upcoming projects that we'll put on our website and Good, social yeah. media and stuff like that. Um, uh, as far as cabinets, uh, Logan is on the cutting edge, lives, breathe design. Um, and then my door and window department is, uh, New lines are coming out all the time. Marvin, we got an exclusive dealership for the new Marvin line that's uh, super high-end, um, efficient, and Mackenzie uh, is my lead in that department. And she's amazing. She's a rock star. So um, that's one of the ones we did a display of last year, and I think it's, it's from the multi-slide doors that you can do, like, Oh gosh, they're huge. Uh, standards like sixteen foot wide opening. So what? Yeah, I think they can go up to like fifty four feet <laughs> or something like that. It's it's oh wide. my gosh. Yeah, uh, but that's pretty yeah. cool. Like uh, the Marvin, uh, I think it's called Infinity line. Uh-huh. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, I I can see why you would you would speak highly of them with pride because it. To me, that it sounds especially when you're you're dealing with um, residential customers because this is going to be a showpiece in their homes. Um, you know, they're they're willing to invest a lot in that, and and they have certain expectations. And so, I would think you'd you'd if you didn't have that kind of product knowledge, mm-hmm. uh, uh, some of us might think it's a little nerdy. You know, there are somebody's a cabinet nerd just like I'm a radio nerd. Oh, yeah. But uh, you've you've got to have the, those gifts and skills, don't you? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. You have to have a a passion for what you're doing. And I yeah. think that my staff uh, you know, has that passion. Uh they like being able to help people uh find the products that they want. Um, you know, design is huge in the cabinet world and we do custom cabinetry and uh I went to one of our shoots this last weekend and oh man, like amazing. You know, and same with doors and windows. There's 
a million different options, yeah. you know, and... Uh, yeah, that's the other thing about uh, moving forward in technology. I mean, there, there, there's rarely less options coming out, right? I mean, there, there's just always oh. always the new latest bells and whistles. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's uh, it's uh, difficult to keep up with, you know? Uh, like, I kind of fell out of touch with doors and windows. I haven't sold doors and windows myself for... Oh, 10 years and it's changed <laughs> so much. Uh, I mean, there's so many cool, yeah. like one of the new displays we were doing has a tilt turn window and like it tilts and it turns and it's <laughs> this hardware thing. I'm up beyond me. Cool. Uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. My guest, David Boyce, general manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center here on News Talk KGVO. Always ask my guests, every single one of them, and you've got a lot of years you could look back on, but a uh, success story or stories over the years, thing, things that come to mind that you are um, uh, especially proud of with, with Boy Slumber. Oh, man. Uh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. You know, I think um, I've looked up to generations that have come before me, uh, and yeah. there's this weird generational shift that has happened uh in this business where these guys that built the company are now retiring yeah and so i'm having to put people uh in their place and it's it's hard to replace 50 years experience sure. and um we were talking about my hardware manager uh yes and uh jeff had retired this yeah. last year oh well um this is and it's pretty pretty cool uh my best friend works at boys and uh has become the hardware manager and it's it's exciting to see this younger generation that yeah. has that that passion uh seeing them advance through the company and take it to the next you know oh, sure next yeah. chapter or if oh, you will no you know yeah. so it's uh it's a little nerve wracking, you know, uh, I'm not super stoked it happened on my watch, but it's, you know, uh, it's a challenge and, uh, yeah. it makes it exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anything we can do to help here on Missoula real estate today <laughs> to give you added exposure there on that. Uh, he beat me to retirement. Uh, the Jeff, uh, that, that David was referring to, I asked him before we went on the air to do the show, I said, Jeff Powell, right. And, <laughs> and you said, Yes, I I thought that that's the one that, that Jeff was uh, associated with for most of his, if not all of his no. adult life. And uh, and Jeff also grew up in that neighborhood. You probably knew yeah. know that, too. He was, grew up on Rollins or Cleveland, not very far yeah. from the place. But Jeff and I went to high school together. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... I uh, believe Jeff is a third generation there, too. His oh, dad I his worked da there. I knew his dad yeah. did. Yeah. I knew his dad did. And I think his grandfather worked oh, gosh. for boys. Wow. Uh, David Boyce, General Manager of Boyce Lumber and Design Center on Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck. And uh, don't want to let time slip away here, David, in our final minute. Let's talk about where uh, your loca location is exactly and store hours, contact information, all all of those good things that you answer on the phone uh, dozens of times oh, a day yeah. when people call. So Monday through Friday, we're open from 7 to 5.30. Okay. Um, on Saturdays, uh, 8 to 2. Okay. Um, centrally located on Russell street. Can't miss us almost on the corner of Russell and Mount. Right. Um, and as far as contact info, best way is call the store. You'll get a pro, uh, you know, all the guys at the back counter are, are really, really good. So yeah. anyway. good looking website too. If people want to kind of tour the website. Yeah. We're going to spruce that up a little bit more. Uh, okay. that was one of my focus this year was to, um, really dial in the website, get some current pictures and, uh, hit social media pretty hard this year. So. Yeah. Uh, and it's voice, boy, boyslumber.com. Yeah. Boyslumber.com. Boyslumber. That's B O Y C E by the way, folks, boyslumber.com. And eventually we'll have a uh, online store. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but, uh, we're going to give it a run. So Okay. Good luck with that. And um, great job. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening to Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. For a complete directory of Diane's listings, visit movetomissoula.com. That's move, the number two, missoula.com. We'll see you next time on Missoula Real Estate Today.